And um, it's just people Dang like the, you who, who are uh, continuing to hold the I'm watching a uh, couple stare at POV to each one. And congratulations. I just got done seeing the Jonah Maori video. It, um, for the first time. Well, I've seen parts of it before, but I never seen the whole thing and it completely broke me down. I mean, clearly. Um, and it has me petrified because my son is five, just turned five last month, and he's going to be going into school next year for the first time. And I don't want to have to worry about that. Oh. Um, it's crazy that schools and kids have gotten this crazy in the 10 years since I graduated from high school. Bullying wasn't really there when I was in high school. Like, yeah, kids picked on each other, you know. I mean, we all have done that. I mean, but bullying, no. 10 years ago, the stuff that happens now didn't happen. And I'm only 27. Like, that's crazy to me. He's 14 years old. And see what this boy did with just index cards. And I was so proud of him. It was really a touching moment. Hey man, you are so cool. You are so cool. So cool. I don't see how anybody could watch it and not be affected. Because I felt exactly like he did growing up. I really have a lot of respect for him. I just pray my son never really comes home a leader for a whole and tells me that he's bullied that for anything. Okay. Rather, it's because he's black. I don't think he's gay, so I don't think I have to worry about that. Not yeah. saying that that's a bad thing, because, you know, I love my gay people. Um, just for anything, the main thing that will worry me is because he's black. I haven't had to experience that, thank God, and I hope that I never do. But that video completely broke me down. Um, and I would lose it if somebody bullies my child. Like, there's no telling what I might do. Oh, uh, but it definitely has me scared. Um, I kind of want to show y'all what, not what bullying does, but what hatred does. So, hold on, I'm going to pause it, and I'll be right back. This is my cousin. He was murdered two years ago and he was on the verge of going to the NFL this is what jealousy does it kills and he was only 22 years old